Hello and welcome to the developer stream, which is actually not a stream because this is pre-recorded. Uh, my name is Pavel Buja. I'm joined by Rishik Piotr Golus. I get that right, right? Yes, yes. Good, good. I always forget if it's a W or with or a L. I always mix it up. Anyway, we are here to highlight what's coming in the update, which is coming on Tuesday the 22nd. And this is the last update actually before Project Homecoming launches in the next following months. So I think we should just go straight into it. Yeah. What have you guys changed? I know you changed something with Swap and Mulligan as a whole. Yeah, we decided that because the whole Mulligan and Swap are kind of different from the gameplay perspective, at least for us, mm -hmm. we decided to completely disconnect them. And now from now on, all cards that are swapped during the round are not affected by the mulligan uh, pace which occurs between the rounds. Yes, yeah, so that means also I changed to war dancers, but we'll get to that. I think we'll start with the neutral cards and the first one will be actually black blood. So let's jump into the game. The change right here is now, uh, it will now create a bronze necrophage or vampire and boosted by two. Yeah, Simple. it was mostly targeted towards people who were just using the card to get rid of the weather on your side. So mm -hmm. now it's going to be less consistent for the player because you won't have access to the Nekulat, which was spawning Moonlight. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's the first one. Now let me get the sword and go to Doppler. Also a card used in Skoyatel. We see a change here. What happened? So basically, like. First and foremost, we wanted to get rid of all bronze create cards because from the feedback we received from the players, we learned that you are really not a fan of that mechanic on bronze cards. So we decided to change all of those and Doppler is simply spawning a random bronze unit from your faction and now you won't be able to choose what suits you the best, but it's just completely random. All right. Yeah, a lot of people are complaining about uh, create overall and there are some changes to create, uh, which we'll be showcasing soon but before we do that Olgerd. now this is an interesting change he yeah. has death wish now kind of will work with the monsters archetype um if, if i'm correct yeah i think he can find a solid spot in death wish deck but like first first of all like we wanted to change this card because we are targeting many card advantage cards in this update um where is one brewer is under one and all get would be like the only one left which would be untouched so we said to mm -hmm. why not so now king brand cannot just pull him from the deck at any time and use him to drive past the second round yeah simple change but i needed one all right those are the neutral cards uh we'll jump to rune stones the famous rune stones or infamous rune stones and they all have pretty much the same change is that they're able to create not only a silver now card but also a bronze card yes exactly <coughs> it just makes them much consistent obviously yeah and this applies to devana Sriborg, zoria morana and does bog rune stones yep all right so what uh, northern realms winch card loved and hated by some <laughs> yes like we learned from for example, Gwent Tournament, that it was used a lot in handheld matches because you could yeah. just create one of the machines you were using in your de yeah. deck and then pull all of them with the combination of Nene Neneki and uh, handheld. So we yeah. decided to completely change the card mechanic and make it so it boosts your side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this only will work if you have a lot of machines, so it only gives you that, that advantage once you have a lot of machines yes. on the board. Exactly. All right, everybody, everyone's favorite card, Dune Banner, the Eye Icers. Also a change here, a subtle change because they will now jump out of the deck if it's more than 25 from that. And it used to be 20 if I remember correctly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just less consistency, so yeah. So a little bit, uh, a little nerf, let's say, to, to Hansel's Machines, which is currently uh, the deck, which is quite dominant, especially, like you said, in, in, in the esports environment, but also um, Dune Banners are played in that deck. So yes, that's why the change. All right, everyone's favorite faction, Skoyatel, <laughs> easy. And the infamous Elven Scout, 10 power now with a different ability. Yes. He's Ability is now just to swap a card, so it's not a mulligan anymore. Um, 
it's completely different mechanic and it will allow you to simply replace a card with a different one from your, uh, from your deck. Yeah, simple as that. It will now work with the swap mechanic. And this also plays into the change to Word Answer, uh, which I'll show now because Word Answer only comes out once it swaps, so it synergizes as well with yes. the Elven Scout right now. Yes, yeah. exactly. This is a change for Word Answer, but also for the Brickhead Vanguard, which will work exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can show him as well. Yep. Vanguard, there we go. Boost Elf allies by one. That doesn't change whenever you swap this card, trigger its ability. Yeah. Yeah. And also, there was this problem that in Mulligan phase, sometimes you mulligan in the War Dancer and then you mulligan a Vihe Vanguard and it will boost the War Dancer even before the, the match started. I also know that that's yeah. not going to be a thing anymore, which is good. All right. One change that I teased to a leader uh, on our official forums, uh, Brewer. There we go. Yeah, we already could see it on the Reddit. I saw it on Yes. The <laughs> it was a popular topic on Reddit and on forums. So, um, Brewer, well known in this, uh, the previous meta, uh, or this meta still, <coughs> because the patch hasn't come out yet, um, for pulling Yaven. So, he won't be able to pull Yaven anymore. So, yeah. no more spying units. And we can still do the combo of pulling Barclay Ales with, into Cleaver and shooting something for 10 points, for example. Yeah. But yeah, just the Yavin part is cut from the ability and it makes it so not, not a single leader in the whole game can pull the card advantage spy at the first turn, for example. Exactly. All right. Cool. A last change, actually to Nilfgaard and to Slave Drivers. Slave Driver, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, so this is totally different ability. Yeah, it's completely different. We also cut the create or respawn uh, mechanic completely, and we made it so you can damage one of your units, which fits the art as well, mm -hmm. and you can uh, you can transfer the damage to a different unit. Yeah, exactly. So I think this ability overall for the card will be quite powerful in the state it is because it's quite interesting. Not only you're taking something to one power, you're also dealing damage. So, yeah. Plus, you get a 10 point body on the board, which is quite a lot. So, those are the gameplay changes. There will also be a couple of game fixes, but all of these you'll be able to find on playgwen.com uh, where you actually have a full change lock. And I think that's, yeah, that's, that's, that. that's it. All right, guys. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye. bye.